Hi, guys. This is Lightning Studio. The performance of Redmi K70 after its release in China was very successful. Two weeks after it went on sale, its sales exceeded 1 million units. This also proves that this phone must have very strong product capabilities. Only then can it be recognized by the vast majority of users. Today I just want to be the owner of the phone. Share with you the real experience of using this mobile phone. The one I have is the purple version of Redmi K70. Memory specification is 16 plus 256 GB. The first thing I want to say is, Redmi K70 different color versions. The glass material used on the back of the phone is different. Like the purple one I have, it's made of glossy glass. White and black are matte glass. I prefer white, I think it looks better. There are some special texture designs. And the matte glass is more resistant to fingerprints. In the design of lens module, K70 and Xiaomi Mix Fold 3 are very similar. And a big upgrade this time is that it uses a metal frame. This gives it a leap forward improvement in texture. And as a distinction, the metal frame of the K70 is made of matte material. The frame of K70 Pro is made of glossy material. So what's wrong with the overall appearance of this phone? First, the buttons are relatively loose. Includes volume and power keys. The second point is that the transition between the antenna and the middle frame is not good. If you touch it with your hands, you will feel that its antenna seems to be a little protruding. The third point is that the charging port is not in a central position, but closer to the bottom. Let's talk about the screen. The screen resolution is also 2K. It uses the latest C8 material from Huaxing Opto Electronics. The display effect, especially the fonts, will be very delicate. But this screen is at a tilt angle. It will be greener. In addition, its four black edges are also of unequal width. Fortunately, the plastic bracket is still cancelled. It improves some of the cheapness. Outdoors, I usually turn on this sun mode. It can make the default brightness brighter. You can clearly see the content displayed on the screen under the bright sun. What's more worth mentioning is its eye protection performance. The mobile phone uses DC-like dimming when the brightness is high. The middle brightness is 1920Hz PWM high frequency dimming. The lowest is 3840Hz PWM high frequency dimming. In terms of eye protection, it is commendable. In terms of performance, its processor uses Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. Many flagship phones in the past were equipped with this SoC. So I won't go into details about the performance in terms of game performance. Mainly let's talk about its battery life performance with a 5000 mAh battery. I actually use it. Its screen on time is about 5 to 6 hours. In the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 model, battery life is very average. Fortunately, the charging has been increased to 120W. It takes about 25 minutes to fully charge from completely discharged to fully charged. Another thing to say is, this phone cancels wireless charging, but it doesn't have much impact on me. In terms of cameras, the main camera of the K70 has been greatly improved. This new lens from HAL. Parameters are similar to Sony IMX766, but it performs very well on night scenes. The colors and dynamic range presented are both good. In addition, in the camera settings, you can also change the photo sound. And I recommend you to turn on the HDR photo mode in the album. It can make photos appear more vivid. On other peripheral configurations, NFC, infrared, it is equipped with. Just missing wireless charging in IP68, but it is worthy of praise that. It's in the phone box this time. Comes with a better quality silicone case instead of cheap clear water shells. Finally, let's talk about the system. It is equipped with Xiaomi's Hyper OS. Regarding the experience of using this phone, compared with the previous MIUI 14, Hyper OS has a very high smoothness. Another point is bugs. I have almost never encountered them on this phone. So this is my experience using this phone these days. In terms of configuration, it has areas for improvement and areas for deficiencies. But judging from the overall performance, it can live up to everyone's expectations. It is also in the current price range of 2,000 to 3,000 yuan. A mid-range phone with good value for money. Okay, that's it for this video. What do you think of this phone? Please tell us your answer in the comments. Your support will be our biggest motivation for updating. See you next time.